Welcome to the channel guys. We're out at the garden. We're gonna try to get a lot done today. As you can see, got my raised beds set up where I left off yesterday. I've got rocks in the bottom. Got to get some more in this one. I've got my mulch. I got some more soil in the back of the truck. Just some cheap stuff. I'm kind of mix, mix my own stuff. I got some manure over there. We'll mix in with that. It's not the best soil, but actually last year it was pretty good. So we'll see how it is this year. I can tell you this, it don't smell too good. Anyway, as you guys probably all know by now, Country Road Carrier got hacked. Took their channel, put some Andrew Tate on there, whoever he is. I have no clue who this Andrew Tate is. And for my research, and this has happened to a lot of bigger channels, what they're doing is they're sending out emails like they do to all of us channels wanting us to do reviews on their products or they want us puppies or they want to sponsor your channel. They might offer you cash. Some of them are sending a form for you to fill out and you have to download it and that is where they put in the malware that is getting in and it takes everything on your computer it takes over don't know if that's what happened with them but something had to have been downloaded or they went to a, a uh, the wrong site or something had to happen to get the virus on there however it happened it sucks they're doing this in russia i read their community post it was indeed from russia uh, they seem to be targeting the bigger channel. Hey guys, they seem to be targeting bigger channels. So, but that's not to say that anybody's not at risk. So I had I have confidence they'll get that back. It's gonna probably take a little work. Uh, what I see, none of their videos are on there, which they have on Rumble. So they're not all lost. They can easily put them back on. But it's a lot of work but and they did not and they did lose some subscribers uh because people some people are dumb they see something that out of the ordinary you know if i'm watching their channel every week and then i see all of a sudden see something political or whatever i know something's up but there's a lot of people that aren't too bright out there and they'll unsubscribe won't even ask unsubscribe and in my my eyes i don't want those kind of subscribers anyway so hopefully they'll get that back in no time and i uh, just wanted to put that out there and hopefully everything works out good all right guys i'm gonna organize this a little bit more uh my 20 by 20 screen will be up today and there's no rush on getting that up because the main focus of that is keeping the hot summer sun off of it we're not even close to that yet so that's not going up for a while i want to build a pergola here over this whole area a pergola and put that screen over the top that way i can remove that screen blah 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 convert it into a greenhouse for the winter and that's what i'm gonna do you little whiny buttholes hush and last news i got an email this morning uh the lady that wants toast is sending somebody uh flying them down gonna put toast in a carrier and put her under the seat fly her back to florida i need to take her to get her rabies shot they need to have a health certificate and be eight weeks old toast will be eight weeks old uh next wednesday so we're good there she could be leaving soon man y'all gonna know anybody good families that need i got five more after that i've got they are costing me a fortune i mean they eat and puppy food is more than than grown dog food grown dog sound like corn dog but it's it's high i just got back from walmart 92 bucks on them little boogers i just bought food the other day you know I, I try to feed them good stuff i'm not feeding them garbage so but the dry food i mean just for 20 20 pound bag is like 30 bucks it's crazy but we'll get it done i'm doing it all right let's get to work i've been yakking too long oh yeah the fake cries nobody's falling for your cute act especially you toast nobody's falling for none of that yeah, with the wine, and I seen you guys in there this morning trying to tear my bamboo blinds down. Yeah, you did. 
You did. You had. You was trying to tear my bamboo blinds off. You dirty nose. It was you. All right. Uh, I'd rather use gravel, but I don't have any left. So going through this pile of rocks, getting the decent sized ones, just for drainage, take up a little space. Now these are rocks that were around that tree that we cut down. I had a little garden bed in there. No, this wasn't a natural pile of rock sitting here. Got one that had fire ants on it yesterday. That was fun. Okay. Got my eye on that one right there. puppies went nuts earlier. They eat every six hours. I ain't used to puppies. Let's see. One more on the door. Right. Let's go back. Out of the way, Lib. I can't stop. Up the hill. All right. At least I did the hard ones first, the ones in the back. I'm going to tell you what. Those raised beds took forever to put together. They were easy, but there's like four bolts in every section. And when you got carpal tunnel syndrome, yeah, ain't easy. All right, so. Gonna start getting them out. I don't want to put them down in there too hard. It'll rip that weed mat. But once it's all got dirt, I'll go around and cut that. I rake gravel over it. All right, you guys get the point. All right, I'm gonna take some of this cheap soil. Well, I say cheap. It's a dollar more than it was last year, like everything else. And I'm gonna put that in the bottoms of these pots and we'll start with that back one <sighs> and then i've got pots out here i still need the empty that has good soil on it and put that on top usually get the potting soil but they don't they don't have four bags of it doesn't matter we'll make it good <laughs> that looks pretty good. Actually, yeah. Fur!
Well, though, it's all in my fur now. Alright. Two bags. I'm going to try two in each and then see what I got. I got a lot of them empty out there. become very quiet in there and look at Miss Toast she's become a digger something very interesting is down there because they're ignoring me they're all in on it, on it. what are you digging Toast whatever it is you can dig it man Toast if you're going to Florida, you ain't gonna be able to dig like that because the whole ground is like shale or coral. I know, I've tried to dig some holes there. It ain't fun. Just like here. I'd like to see what they're gonna dig up. I really don't want them digging. All right, that was UPS. I got me a new weapon for all the stray dogs that come up here to get them out of here. Yeah, it'll scare you, does it? Ah, now nah, my eardrum's gone. All right, we got them filled. I'm gonna, I left a little bit of room. I'm gonna put some, uh, that manure I got back there in there. But, yeah, that soil's pretty good that was in these pots over here. I'll show you what I've got done so far over here, what I'm doing. And I did stack these too high, so I get more soil in there. So if I wanna grow herbs or peppers in there, there's plenty of soil. I know it's kind of ugly that'll all wash off when it rains and it will rain it'll all be cleaned up then they're not the level of stands in the world but really all I want to keep is these two right here they already got perennials growing in them I don't want to re replant them that's fine but I mowed yesterday it sure was nice not to have to weave around them so right now I'm emptying this one out that had tomatillos in it last year had no luck with them I had good luck with, uh, I think I had Big Jim. Well, I can, I can look. Hot cayennes, I did real good on them. And then there was Big Jim peppers over there. And that's some garden sage coming up. We'll probably just go ahead and try to replant. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll probably just, I can dig that out enough where I can repot it. And these other ones, uh, I don't remember what was there last year. Those were my failed cucumbers. Don't remember. And that's never worked out. It's too shallow. I'm getting rid of it. And this one filled up with fire ants last year, so I wasn't able to grow anything in there. And all the rest of them are emptied out. So basically all I got are these and that one. And... 
we'll probably add another one or two over here because we're going to have enough soil all right. all right here's my shade cloth i tell you what they got that vacuum sealed so daggum tight you could kill somebody with that <laughs> uh, this is a 40 percent shade cloth 20 by 20 black yeah that's something i've never seen made in prc is that the people's republic of crap i think it is wonder why they changed it from china to prc well that might be a clue to something huh i don't like them i don't like them anyway all right so i'm not gonna open that that thing will probably spring up like a one of them bouncy things at the fair okay so now what i'm gonna do I've got to get these things where they're going to fit. I really would like them to be further up here. Just about the length of that uh, screen porch. So when I build the pergola, these are all inside. So I'm going to just work on getting these straight. Getting them all. Bring a few more down here. Now I, I got 20 feet to go out here, which is almost all the way to the top of the that little hill there. So there's plenty of space. But uh, I don't know. The plan is when I build this pergola is to turn it into a greenhouse for the winter. So I've got a little time to build it yet. So I want to build it right. And like I said, I I'm not gonna need that shade cloth for at least probably till June. Hopefully. Now last year it got pretty darn hot in May. But hopefully this year it's not that bad. Alright, I'm gonna go in and eat some lunch, come back out and deal with this and deal with the remaining containers Waldo you heard something about work and I just seen you barrel around that corner where are you going I still see your tail I know you're there <sighs> Dogs. all right I'm gonna go eat my spaghetti for the fourth day in a row I have a problem anymore when I go into the grocery store I cannot think of anything to cook so I just opt for buying, you know, uh, spaghetti. I just eat in a lot smaller portions, but I'm eating it longer. I could eat spaghetti every day, but I'm, eat, I'm making a lot smaller portions, and I'm still losing weight. Man, I want to get back and, and do some walking videos on the other channel, but I'm just I'm slammed right now, you know, with the puppies, the garden. This is going to take a while to get this thing planted and, and situated. So, I'm going to go eat and get back on it. Alright, I'm just trying to get these as straight as I can get them. It looks good. And these have got the same distance this way. And then I've measured out from here. This will be my starting row. I know you probably can't hear me. And so I'm just going to go off that and go all the way down and... Probably not gonna put anything here. This is gonna be like a little workspace where I can get in here with a hose. But I'll probably add some more of them other pots on the end. So let me get these all straightened out, see how good it looks.
all right these are about as spaced evenly apart as i care to get them i'm not gonna go overboard with this and uh like i said i'm gonna leave this spot open i gotta have some room to move around and i got i got room for a couple more rows over there whatever i decide to do but i want to get these pots here ready get the manure and the mulch in them the next day or so and same thing with these and about got all them filled and the stuff that i've got sitting on the porch it's it's ready to plant but our last freeze date here is on the 15th and we're a week away from that i have been burned on that before i planted early two years ago and we had a freeze on the 22nd so i'm gonna go ahead and look at the weather yeah you know the, you can't really go on what they're predicting especially here if they're saying fort smith is going to be 40 degrees it's going to be 30 degrees here it, it, we're in we're in a higher elevation so i got to keep an eye on that but i will be planting them at least uh four or five days from now and if i have to cover them i'll cover them but they're getting so big i, I got no choice all right i guess we're gonna wrap this one up let's go look at them babies just got off the phone uh the person that is taking toast is sending somebody flying them down gonna meet them at the airport and they're gonna turn right back around and go take toast home where are you toast so she's gonna be traveling by, with somebody all every step of the way i just have to know the reservation so i can go get her health certificate and a radio shot where little miss toast go you guys are about sick of miss toast there's miss toast you're about sick of her being the star of the show well she's the runt that's one of the perks of being the runt huh toast you're going to florida yeah in a, in a good climate too don't know about you dirty nose i don't think anybody <coughs> Yeah, you guys might be going to cold Minnesota. You just might be. Yeah, I know, but I don't gotta have a choice. Okay. Who wants to be the next one to go? You, Oreo? Dirty nose. She's a good girl, too. Yes. Well, if the camera's out on you for five seconds, you're gonna start crying. I'm gonna come in there. It's almost time for me to come in there and play with you guys. Okay, say goodbye. Ah, all right. Now, what I do with them, I go in there once a day, play with them for about 15 minutes. I feed them, water them, clean up after them. Other than that, they don't get a whole lot of attention from me. I don't want them getting used to me. And it doesn't take much for them to do that. Because that's, that's reserved for the new for the new homes they're going to. They can spoil them all they want. They don't get any treats. They don't even know what a treat is yet. So that's just the best way to do it. What toast? What are you doing? You're gonna have your day. You're gonna have your day. You ain't gonna fit through there. But I am gonna have to raise this up. Well, you guys just, yeah, you're taste of the free, free world out here. Let me tell you something, Mac. It ain't so free anymore. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it ain't. What dirty nose has got? What dirty nose? Dirty nose. Really? You're not no scientist. Well, you got some pep. Happy trails.